How to put a ball hitch on a lawnmower. Welcome, in today's video we'll describe in easy to follow steps how to put a ball hitch on a lawnmower. In case you don't know what a ball hitch is, here's a brief definition. A ball hitch which is also known as just a ball or a trailer ball is an attachment that is shaped like a ball. It functions by joining a lawnmower or a trailer to a hitch. With the help of this piece of equipment, your lawnmower can be easily converted to a multi-functional pulling tool. A method you can use to achieve this is to mount a ball hitch on the lawnmower. You may need to take out the garbage or use it to carry logs or haul a roller that's filled with water through your yard. Whatever the case may be, your lawnmower can assist you to do this once you've attached a ball hitch to it. In this video, the detailed steps we provide will allow you to see and put to full use your lawnmower's additional towing capacity. How to put a ball hitch on a lawnmower. There are two methods you can use to achieve this process. First method, make use of a hitch adapter made at home a receiver hitch made through the help of a do-it-yourself project works just as well. It's an added advantage in that going this route will save you some money. This is because a DIY receiver hitch will certainly be much cheaper a receiver hitch you invented yourself will also provide you with extra flexibility because you can create one that can house two balls which usually come in varying sizes. You have a variety of options however the design which is simplest will involve you making a receiver style hitch. This can be achieved with the use of tubing made of steel. Once you've done this, weld the ball on the assembly. Second method, make use of a lawn pro high hitch. There are a number of options out there in order to achieve this. However, using the very popular high hitch made by Great Day is quite easy to use. It's also positioned in an ideal way so that your lawnmower can be kept at the right level while also being balanced perfectly. Please note that it takes trailer hitch balls that have a 3 quarter inch shank. In some cases, however, it's smaller. Follow the steps below for the best results. 1. Get the hitch pre-assembled. 2. Connect the body of the ball hitch to the lawnmower. 3. Drill your lawnmower. 4. Install the ball hitch. The steps are explained in detail below. First step, get the hitch pre-assembled. Begin the process by joining one pair of the brace arms to the body of the high hitch. They can be bolted with the use of a 1 quarter inch by 2 and a half inch bolt. Remember to include the flat washers which match and the lock nut. The last thing you need to do here is to tighten everything you just fixed. Make sure it's tight but not so tight that it's difficult to remove if you need to do so. You can check to see it's been properly applied by testing the brace arms. If they pivot properly, then you're on the right track. Second step, connect the body of the ball hitch to the lawnmower. This is the part of the process where you'll need to attach the lawn pro high hitch to your lawnmower. All you need to do is attach the body of the high hitch to the trailer of your lawnmower's mounting hole. Here you'll need the help of the 5 8 inch by 2 and a half inch bolt, in addition to the 5 8 inch flat washers. You'll also need a lock nut that is similar in size. The last thing you need to do here is to tighten everything you just fixed. Make sure it's tight but not so tight that it's difficult to remove if you need to do so. You can check to see it's been properly applied by testing the brace arms. If they pivot properly, then you're on the right track. Third step, drill your lawnmower. Generally speaking, it can be a bit hard to purchase a hitch which can be attached without owners having to carry out additional adjustments. These adjustments tend to require some drilling via the assistance of a standard-sized drill bit. If you can't get this, you can always use a cordless drill. 
Here, you will need to align the brace arms near the backside of the lawnmower. You will also have to make a mark on the spot you've decided to drill. It's advisable you are as precise as you possibly can be. This is so you can use the least amount of time possible. Once you've marked the holes successfully, you can begin the drilling process. A 5 16 inch drill bit can be used for this part of the job quite well. Feel free to be as creative as possible and remember that the main part of this step is to ensure the holes have been sized correctly. An additional tip is to ensure your movement is not clogged by the brace arms. You also need to make sure that nothing else is obstructing your movement while you drill as a matter of health and safety. Fourth step, install the ball hitch. Once the holes have been drilled successfully on the back of your lawnmower, locate these holes. Now bring them into line with the brace arms accurately. Once you've done this, place in the 1 quarter by 1 inch bolts. Place the fitting flat washers including the nuts like you did in the steps above. The last thing you need to do here is to tighten everything you just fixed. Make sure it's tight but not so tight that it's difficult to remove if you need to do so. Finally, you can fix the ball hitch size you need. Once you've done this, you can get it tested. Now that you've successfully attached your ball hitch to your lawnmower, you'll notice it will have a higher pulling capacity. It may not be able to pull a very large boat but at least it can do a lot more now. You can sit back and enjoy the fruits of your hard work and patience in the process. Additional tips for installing a ball hitch on your lawn mower 1. Make sure you always stay within the limit of the hauling capability of your lawnmower. There's no need to strain your lawnmower too much as that is quite dangerous. In addition, you risk decreasing the very life of the lawnmower and how long it can be useful to you as a piece of equipment. 2. Make sure you always get every part of the lawnmower inspected before you use it each time. Inspect it for any issues with deformation or rust. If you notice any of these two, make sure you replace any deformed or rusted hardware as soon as possible. 3. If you ever need to pull it from an odd angle, make sure you use the utmost caution. It's advisable you remain calm and exercise caution so you don't make any wrong maneuvers. You don't want to fall over or get stuck now, do you? 4. Generally speaking, having to work on any piece of equipment can be quite dangerous. To prevent any unfortunate and unavoidable accidents, make sure you stick to safety protocols. These include basic precautions such as wearing protective gear. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site www.zimlawnmower.com for more awesome lawnmower content like this.